Day, Sunday the 2nd of November 2003, marks a very special day for Parramatta, New South Wales. On this day, we celebrate Parramatta's Foundation Day. And as part of our Spring Festival, the three arms of the Australian Defence Forces will exercise their right and privilege to march through the city of Parramatta with swords drawn, bayonets fixed, drums beating, colours flying and bands playing as part of a tri-service freedom of entry parade. This rather unique parade has only been performed on two known occasions previously. The first occasion was in 1986 and more recently in 1988. On both these occasions, this ceremony has been proudly conducted in the heart of the city of Parramatta. It's in Melbourne where it's raining cats and dogs. It's always like this. The history of granting freedom of entry to a city to armed service units dates back to the 11th and the 12th centuries. In those early times, the walled cities of Europe held trained soldiers for defensive measures and for the protection of the city against bands of marauding, undisciplined armed men, many returning from the Crusades. Shortly, the Lord Mayor of our city, Councillor Paul Garrard, will escort the Chief Reviewing Officer, General Peter Cosgrove, AC, MC, Chief of the Defence Force, to the official dais. At 11am, the contingent will leave the Lancer Barracks. They will proceed along Smith Street and turn into Macquarie Street. The marching contingents will be escorted by the New South Wales Mounted Police and the New South Wales Police Traffic Support Group VIP Cyclists. Freedom to enter the city was granted only to friendly armies and was rigorously controlled by city leaders as a measure of precaution rather than an act of grace. The ancient city of London held a charter which was renewed by William the Conqueror in the 11th century. It based its strength and independence not only on its trading ability, but also on its powers to raise and train city regiments for its own protection. In Australia in 203, the granting of freedom of entry bestows no legal right or privilege on the recipient. But it is accepted and acknowledged that the conferring is the most honourable distinction that a city may bestow on a contingent of the Australian Defence Force. In Parramatta, we are privileged to have not one, but three fighting units of the Australian Defence Force associated with our city. Even more unique is that each arm of the Defence Force is represented here today. The present HMAS Parramatta is the fourth ship of the Royal Australian Navy to carry that name. The first was a river-class torpedo boat serving during World War I. The stern of this proud ship has been erected as a memorial at the Queen's Wharf Parramatta. The second Parramatta was a Grimsby-class sloop sunk in action by a submarine off Sidi Barani during the siege of Tobruk with heavy loss of life. A memorial to Parramatta II has been erected at the Queen's Wharf Reserve at Parramatta. The third Parramatta was commissioned in 1961 and served the Royal Australian Navy until she was decommissioned in 1991. The current HMAS Parramatta is an Anzac-class frigate built in Australia and was commissioned in October 2003 under the command of Michael Noonan, RAM. Upon reaching the challenge point, the marching units will be challenged by the City Marshal, Detective Chief Inspector Don Brown of the Parramatta Local Area Command, accompanied by the Police Protocol Officer, Inspector Paul Martin. The City Marshal will be assisted during the challenge by the Parramatta Council's General Manager, Mr John Nish, who will verify the authenticity of the scrolls. Once the scrolls have been checked and certified, the contingent will be permitted to proceed. I don't see a screen. 
I verify that seems to be correct. May I ask how First, 58, Royal New South Wales Lancers. 38, Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force. Your right and privilege to do so is acknowledged. Pass, HMAS Parramatta. First, 15th, Royal New South Wales Lancers. 38, Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force. With authority of the Lord Mayor, councillors and the citizens of the City of Parramatta. Band by the centre! Parade by the left! Parade! HMS Parramatta 3 was granted the freedom of the city of Parramatta on the 13th of February 1965. The current HMAS Parramatta had the freedom reconferred on the 26th of September 2003. The motto of HMAS Parramatta is strike deep. As each of the marching contingents pass the official dais, they will extend a salute to the Chief of the Defence Force and His Worship, the Lord Mayor of Parramatta. The first 15th Royal New South Wales Lancers is the longest continuous serving unit in the Australian Army, having been formed during March of 1885 as a cavalry unit. The regiment saw service in South Africa against the Boers and during World War I served as a light horse regiment. During World War II, the Lancers were equipped with Matilda tanks and saw active service in New Guinea and Borneo. Centurion tanks were brought into the Lancers after World War II, but now the unit is a reserve unit equipped with armoured personnel carriers. The primary function of the Lancers is as an armoured reconnaissance regiment. The first 15th Royal New South Wales Lancers were granted the freedom of the city of Parramatta on the 18th of October 1959. The motto of the Lancers is steadfast in faith. Number 38 Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force, was formed at Richmond on the 15th of September 1943 and was equipped with Lockheed Hudson Mark IV aircraft. In 1944, the squadron was re-equipped with Dakotas, serving in the southwest Pacific area. 38 Squadron flew the first RAF aircraft to Singapore in August of 1945, following the Japanese surrender. The squadron also has seen service during the Berlin airlift, the Malayan emergency in Vietnam and Papua New Guinea. From 1978, they served as part of the United Nations Military Observer Group in Pakistan. 38 Squadron, RAAF, was granted freedom of the city of Parramatta on the 7th of November 1981. The motto of 38 Squadron is equal to the past. As a mark of respect, a salute will also be extended by all units to the Memorial of Remembrance, which is located in front of the Parramatta RSL Club. Thank you.